everybody. What's going on, y'all? This is Marvin. Amber and Amber and we're here at the restaurant and we're gonna eat some And as always, this is the Family O. So we're here at Uncle Julio's Mexican restaurant for our next edition, the latest edition of Day Date Night, Night Fridays. Fridays. As always, as always, the usual suspects are here. We found a new spot to check out. As I said, it's called Uncle Julio's Mexican restaurant. Uh, it's a new restaurant out here in Katy. And we are excited to chow down. Um, and just a moment ago, um, I went to go uh, check us in, um, and I saw some of the food. It looks really good. The decor inside of the restaurant also is very nice and beautiful. Yeah. Um, so it looks really uh, inviting and warm. So. And their tagline is Mexican made from scratch. So. I'm assuming that that means this isn't your usual Tex-Mex, that this is actually Mama's, uh, ma Mama Mia, no, not Mama Mia, Mama's Mexican, like our authentic Mexican food. So we're excited about it. Um, to add a cherry on top, they actually have a coupon with Yelp that if you uh, download the Uncle Julio's app, you get free tableside guacamole. So that, that was all I needed to sell me, is some free guacamole. So. Anyway, so we're just waiting right now uh, until we're called. They're very busy right now um, because they're a new restaurant. It looks like they're super busy. So. Can you show them the buzzer, Liberty, right here? Yep, yeah, that's Liberty's it. calling in for us. That's it. So we will check in in a little bit with you guys and show you all the food and let us know what you think. Um, thanks for watching. Thank you. Peace. Peace. Hi you guys, we have made it inside. We had what they said would be a 30 minute wait. It didn't take too long at all. Um, right now we have, um, excuse our gum on the, <laughs> the chip container. And we have these really delicious, oh, the, these really delicious chips right here. And then this salsa, this is really unique. It kind of looks like it has like pepper and tomatoes and maybe um, some, of course cilantro. It just looks really good, it's tasty. But what I like about it, it has a lot of flavor, but it's not spicy. It tastes really good. So these are, this is the complimentary uh, guacamole that we got. Delicious. This is normally $11.99, but because I downloaded the uh, Uncle Julio's app, we got it absolutely free. So little life hacks like that, little uh, budget hacks are always appreciated. And uh, we are having a lot of fun tearing up this guacamole. So that was it, peace. Honestly, the guacamole, like you mentioned earlier, delicious. The enchiladas, um, they're okay. They're not horrible at all, but they are not, um, I guess, kind of the taste that we're used to, especially with the um, cheese enchiladas. This was like part of it that I scraped off. It's not even melty, you know? So it's like a big chunk of cheese. So I'm not really impressed, you know? Um, but I do, I love the guacamole. The rice is good, um, but I'm glad we experienced it. Um, but I'm not quite sure if we'll be back. I don't think we'll be back. I don't think so. Oh man, Uncle Julio is probably upset about this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. What about you? It was okay. Okay. Nevertheless, it's still a great day night though. Yeah. 
We have some more to do after we're done here. Where are we headed? We're gonna be headed to IKEA, and we were gonna take you guys with us. Uh, well, maybe IKEA does have ice cream, but um, we were gonna take you guys um, with us to IKEA another day, but. My husband had something planned that we decided we didn't want to drive too far for it, so we decided, you know what, let's go tonight. So we're going to have a lot of fun in Ikea in just a little bit. Okay, guys, so we are all done. Mm -hmm. Liberty is waving. Oh, I can't get her. Sorry. So, if I speed up. Babe didn't like the food. Um, I was kind of, it was half and half. It was like, you know, out of 10, I would give it a, a five or a six. Um, <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Didn't look like you liked it too much either. I would say I'm probably about a four, y'all. Yeah, about a about four. A four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, for one, That's pretty girl. I don't know. I mean, they called it authentic. Uh, oops, slow down. They called it authentic Mexican. And if that's authentic Mexican, then bring me back across the board. I'll be honest with you. The, the queso was very. Um, it's like Velveeta, and that's the worst kind of queso, is when it tastes like Velveeta uh, block cheese, like government cheese. Yeah. <laughs> See, maybe you didn't struggle, like I No, struggled. you know the struggle over here. No, but it, it, was, it wasn't a very um, appetizing queso. Mm -hmm. I think the best queso in town uh, is Chewy's, Chewy's, hands down, Chewy's. Casole has Casole. some good kind. Um, who else yeah. has good queso? Them two, really. But, yeah. I mean, and, and with the enchiladas that look, let me dig in my ear canal, with the enchiladas, it, it was very lacking. It was tiny. Ain't nothing worse than small. If this baby don't stop, ain't nothing worse than small <laughs> portions of food. Ouch. And, and so, I'll continue while Libby's having yeah, fun. Yeah, cut away, because I'm about to spank this baby. <laughs> and I don't want that on camera. Well, so. I was just going to say that, like, um, for me, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> For me, uh, with the we were talking about the enchiladas, they were not even um, complete. You know how like um, you like your enchiladas where it's like wrapped tight, but it was like when you uh, they actually put the wrong enchilada on the plate uh, of Marvin and I. Like they switched it, and so Marvin was picking it up to put on my plate, and the whole thing just unfolded. So it was Stop. an interesting experience, you guys. Yeah, will we will we be back? Probably, probably not. not. No, sir. But at least Ugh. it's good to try. We we believe in. I'm gonna spank this baby. We believe in stepping outside of our comfort zone and at least trying something. At least try, she's just messing it. This just gonna be not good. Let this, me this. get her here, babe. Yeah. Let's switch. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Either, either. Sure. So, anyways, I, we just believe in stepping out of our comfort zone. So, <laughs> this is day night Friday. So be sure to like, subscribe. <laughs> Comment, cause we about to get off camera. And I'm finna wear this little baby. Oh yeah, he's, he's such a big talker. He's such a talker. Look at him. <laughs> All right, bye you guys. Oh, actually, we'll see you guys in a few minutes. I forgot we're headed to Ikea. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, we'll see you in a minute. Y'all have a good one. We got about 30 minutes, <laughs> so we gotta hurry up. What's it can we cover our kids? Huge, yep. you guys. You excited, Kitty? Uh huh. I'm excited. Alright. <laughs> she called me Cutie. That's wonderful. <laughs> See y'all later. All right. Check in. is because um, none of the furniture, or at least most of the furniture, I would say, I don't know what, maybe 95% of the furniture is not put together. So you get the opportunity to um, assemble it yourself or you can get someone to assemble it for you. They um, I think they offer a service. They have people that uh, leave their cards, um, but it's very, very budget friendly. So for example, maybe if you want to get a bed, instead of paying like, let's just say $500, it may be $200, but you have to put it together. So it's like really cool, you know. I don't know if 
you guys have one in your area, but I feel so blessed, you know, that we have one here in Houston and it's not too far from where we live either. So um, we've shopped here many a times. As a matter of fact, um, for our second apartment together, once we were married, um, we like we came here and we bought our whole apartment out of here, literally. And we still have a couch, actually, um, that we got from here. A leather couch, you guys, for like $900, which you know, that is like, oh my goodness, that's like super duper uh, inexpensive for a leather couch. And we got it from here and we still have it. And that was probably seven years ago, I think, about seven-ish. Yeah, about seven years ago. Yeah, it's still in good condition. It's still in great condition. It's in great condition. I mean, literally, like, if we're, um, no you know, or tears no rips or tears or anything. And if we um, are eating, for example, like a snack or something that we don't like to eat uh, upstairs, it's located upstairs in our home. Um, but if we have, like, a little small snack or popcorn or just whatever have you, just get, like, a damp towel and wipe it down and it's all good. So, yeah, so anyway, we're going to go and show you guys some more of Ikea. So here we are in another segment of IKEA. Um, one of the things I like about IKEA is the fact that they give you great uh, imagination of different ideas that you can do as far as interior decorating is concerned. And take a look, take a look at this right here. This is canvas art for under two hundred dollars. I mean, that's unheard of. But my understanding is that they get maybe some kind of special deal on artwork, but Ikea is a really, really nice place to get great artwork at a great price. It's 9 o'clock. It's actually 9.10. Ikea closes at 9. <laughs> and we're still in here. We're waiting until we get kicked out, apparently. What is it? Let's see. Hello, you guys. What's so up? we are in, um, I guess I would say, our favorite part of Ikea, yep. which is the... Um, Artwork. artwork department because we have gotten a lot of artwork so right behind us let's see if we can pull it up a little bit you see, guys see this picture this paris picture we used to have it we actually just sold it in our uh, garage sale we had um a couple of weeks back or a month or so back look at that price 49.99 49 dollars can't beat that with a stick can't beat it with a stick and then also right here they have this other um new york picture right here also 49.99 it's just a whole bin full of pictures and we have some new ones. Um, thank you, baby. We have some new ones that we did get um, from here, which I don't see any of them right now. But yeah, they're fifty dollars, you guys. Yep. And um, they also have like um, just different prints, um, just in general, where you can, um, you know, add a frame to it. They have the frames here, but we usually go to Walmart and get them because they're cheaper. So we're here in the as-is section of Ikea. 
Um, this is where you'll find open box items, uh, stuff that's been returned by people that changed their mind, they didn't want it anymore. And most of the items are in pretty good condition and you're actually able to get a pretty significant discount on it if you're okay with a little scratch and dent. So uh, let's take a look at some of the items they got and see if they got anything really worth uh, buying as is or if we need to leave the baby as it is. Let's see. So we finally got kicked out. The gentleman you just saw, he rolled up on us real slick too. I know, too. look at all these plants. He said, y'all need something. He's like, no, no. He's like, cause, cause we closed. We closed about five minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. Yeah. So it's time to roll now. We gotta go. Yeah, it's time for us to go. All right, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Appreciate you rocking with us for Date Night Fridays. Got anything, sweetie? Mm-mm. He said it. As always, appreciate you rocking with us. Peace. Peace.